What's up, divas and divas? What's up, you guys? Rose in the I think you're wrong in the Time to do a half wig video. Do you see my hair? It's all prepared to do a half a wig, okay? I'm gonna try to blend this out, honey. Like, you know, I'm taking it back to the old half wig days when I first started on YouTube. I never wore a headband with my half wig. Like, that's crazy, right? I don't know why. I just never did. I'm not sure why. I think it's because I was really trying to make it look like it was a real real head of hair like serious like there's nothing wrong with that right there's nothing wrong with pretending i've never worked with this hair company before and i'm thinking that you pronounce it urella 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 like it sounds like that should be that should be it that's what i was thinking i got me a kinky straight one girl a kinky straight half wig y'all know i love kinky straight hair girl i love it but when i got the hair it came just like this, okay? Hey you guys, so this is the packaging from Urella Hair that I received in this bright pink box. They also sent me a wig cap to protect my hair. This is a two-piece wig cap. In the packaging, if you do desire to purchase an extra headband, you can purchase something like this which is gemmed up, jeweled up, and really pretty. It'll definitely hook up your half wig. And if you're interested, they also do sell fabric headbands, which will also be a great accessory for any half wig. As you guys know, this is a half wig that I received. Girl, it is 26 inches in length and it is a virgin kinky straight hair. This is an amazing unit as it's very textured and looks so natural and realistic. As you can tell from the front, there isn't a headband as it does have a comb directly in the front perimeter along with that at the nape. A half wig is just a headband wig without a headband sewn on it. Make sure you check out Urella Hair. I'll leave all of the information down below. I'm pretty sure you can find amazing units on their websites at an affordable price. All right, lovely ladies, let's get into this tutorial for this kinky straight 26 inch half wig. So as you guys can tell, I did go ahead and color the unit using some of my dark and lovely box dye. I used the lightest color, which I think is like a platinum blonde, and it came out easy. I used two boxes, easy application. I do prefer it more than bleach. As you guys can see right here, this half wig does come with a comb directly in the front. As all half wigs do, they come with combs directly in the front and at the nape. Now here's the tricky part. You will need to put some bobby pins on the side. As this is with any half wig that I've ever encountered, there aren't any combs on the side, so use yourself a bobby pin just to secure it. Now I'm going to be using the Equate brand, which is the Walmart brand hair gel. This is a knockoff to the Got To Be in the yellow bottle. You will save $2 if you purchase this, and let me tell you guys, it works just as strong as the Got To Be. And I'm just going to prepare my hair as my edges are a little thin. I'm going to be using a fiber which will give you a thicker look and it'll make your hair look a lot more dense. Now if you have thinner edges or bald spot, you can definitely use this product. There are so many different brands like this, but it's just a fiber filler for your hair. And the one that I was using is a Boldify. It's called Boldify. I'm just gonna slick my edges down a little bit. I'm not gonna go overdrawn over the top because listen, I'm, I like baby hairs to a certain degree, but listen, I'm 46 years old, honey, and I don't need a whole head full of them because the baby hairs, girl, I need like, maybe we should call them mature hairs. Now in the meantime, I did go ahead and put my elastic band on that I just sewed together. It's just a regular piece of elastic that I purchased from Walmart. And I'm just gonna secure that down with the scarf so that way I can go ahead and press into this hair. Now as you guys see, it's very textured. It's beautiful, it's actually really beautiful. But let me tell you guys, 26 inches of kinky straight, girl, that is so much hair to tame and style, but we are gonna get through this. So I thought I started off with one of these, you know, styling brushes. I don't know what you call these, these little brushes that get hot. They say that it'll straighten the hair out. 
that's a lie. It doesn't really do the job as sleek, but it does do a decent job. I do like this brush right here. It goes up to a really high temperature. I will say I don't use it on everything, but I use it just enough. But it's really a great brush. As it will it get the hair sleek? No, it will definitely not get the hair sleek, but it will give you like a Dominican blowout type of kind of look. So I did use this first because I really honestly thought that it would get it sleek or down to the bone. So that's when I decided, girl, pull out your handy dandy flat iron and put it on the highest temperature and trace that up with a comb so that when you flat iron it, girl, it'll come out super duper sleek. So this is what did the trick for me. I just used my hot comb and I followed behind it or followed in front of it with one of my styling combs. If you do this method, it'll make your hair a lot sleeker, but just keep in mind, you don't wanna put too much hair in the flat iron while you're trying to press it. I'm gonna continue this of course I did do a time lapse and speed it up because I'm pretty sure you guys didn't want to sit there and watch me do strand by strand I'm pretty sure you get the gist after just one pass through the hair press is really nice you know what I'm saying it's sleek it's it once you press it I will say it does remind me of yakky texture now and as you guys see the difference between both of the sides very sleek and you're just gonna go ahead and repeat that on the opposite side girl so now it's time to take this scarf off this headband off and just style this half wig. Now with the half a wig, you can either leave your front perimeter hair out, or if you wanna have one of those lazy girl days and you really don't know how to blend your hair in with the half wig, girl throw on a headband or a scarf, whatever pleases you. But I'm gonna go ahead and style the front of my hair. Now let's keep in mind, my hair texture has never been yakky, has never been kinky. It's very fine. So it takes a little bit more work for me to blend my hair in with such textures as kinky or yakky. Now mind you, that's my favorite texture, those two. I love it. And I'd give anything for my hair texture to be as that. But in the meantime, I'll just use my bold defy just to fill in any empty gaps in spaces where my hair looks thin. The one thing that I do like the most about a half wig is this. You can braid it from the root of your own natural hairline. You can twist it. You can make a half wig, girl, look so natural like if it was growing out of your actual scalp. So I do appreciate that the most when it comes to any half wig. All right, you guys, so this is it for the half wig. It's great if your hair is really thick in the front because you're not gonna see the line of demarcation at all. But you know, there's tricks to the trade. There's tricks around that, you know. I just use some of this bold defy and it'll definitely make look like I got thicker edges or just thicker hair in general. I love to use the dark and lovely, so it did work out. It didn't dry it out. It's still rather soft, but the one thing that I don't like when I dye it is it's so hard to get the smell out. Like that's the downfall, but I like to use this versus the bleach because it really doesn't damage it as it just is not as harsh as the bleach, you know what I'm saying? It always comes out like the perfect color, so I don't have to, it's no brassiness or anything. So With a half wig, you can do little twists and turns and braids and, you know, stuff like that. You can do those type of things with it. And you can have, like, no headband on, like, seriously. But if you want to throw a headband on with it, by all means, girl, you are free to do so. Just throw you on one real quick, and you're still really, really cute. So, you know, you could still be fashionable. Guys, that's about it for Urella hair. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me know what you think about the hair blend, the half wig, the headband. It's the kinky straight hair and it is dyeable. It is virgin human hair. I'll leave the information below you guys so you guys can check it out. Let me know what you think, you know what I'm saying? But I tell you guys all the time, a headband is, a headband wig is nothing but a half wig. Okay, so on that note, I love you all. Um, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. But I love you all. And on that note, I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah, stay safe and stay diva and divalicious. Get them, spin them, but less my shoe in the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.